Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. That I will be expelled from the Ontario PC caucus if I do not vaccinate by 5 p.m. today. David Menzies for Rebel News here at Queen's Park in Toronto. Well, folks, a bit of a bombshell press conference, albeit one that lasted barely four minutes, namely the MPP for Chatham-Kent, Rick Nichols, uh, is stepping down. Well, he has no choice. You see, in exactly 35 minutes, it will be 5 o'clock, and that was Premier Doug Ford's ultimatum of either you get vaxxed or you get out. And um, what um, Mr. Nichols said is, is that it's a personal choice not to get vaccinated. So um, he's out of this building as a sitting uh, Ontario uh, PC MPP. He'll be yet another uh, former uh, MPP with the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party that will be sitting as an independent. Now, Mr. Nichols didn't take any questions from any members of the media during that very brief press conference. I will be expelled from the Ontario PC caucus if I do not vaccinate by 5 p.m. today. Expulsion means leaving the government benches and may result in the loss of my office as Deputy Speaker. Now, over the past 10 years, I've always strived to do the right thing. For the last 18 months, I watched with great sadness not only the effect of COVID, but the remarkable health, mental impacts, and economic toll on our government's pandemic response. I watched members of my own family lose their entire livelihood and suffer tremendous toll to their mental health. I have voiced my concerns about our policy privately to the Premier and to the Ontario PC caucus. But under no circumstances will I, nor should any Ontarian, be forced or coerced to do something against their will. To do so is an affront to the democratic principles of this magnificent institution. I will await word from the Premier's office but in any event, I will continue to serve the people of the great riding of Chatham-Kent Leamington, for there is no greater honor than to serve one's own community, province, and country. I will not be taking any questions. Thank you very much for your time today. We have reached out to him. We're attempting to get a sit-down interview with Mr. Nichols. Maybe we can do a, a deeper dive into why he's not getting vaccinated. Is it religious reasons? Is it because medically he cannot have the vaccination? I think these are some important questions. And it also speaks disturbingly, I think, of Premier Ford and this PC party. I mean, whatever happened to the idea of reasonable accommodation? Whatever happened to what the feminists have been proclaiming for decades now when it comes to the abortion debate namely my body my choice well it seems that saying is no longer in vogue <laughs> just ask mr nichols he is now not a member of the ontario pc party there is zero tolerance for those not getting vaccinated i wonder if this is something that will affect this party come next year when the ontario election kicks off for Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the 2021 federal election campaign, it's off and running. Do you trust the mainstream media to tell the truth? Do you really trust them to give you the straight goods in terms of what's going on out in the writings? I sure don't. That's why we here at Rebel News, we are imploring you, if you can, to help us pay our expenses as we cover this election, please go to realreporters.ca. That's realreporters.ca. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation. Thank you.